On to rugby now. Defending Kenya Cup champions KCB RFC will miss the services of the influential captain Curtis Lilako, who is yet to recover from a thumb injury when they kickstart their title defense on Saturday against the Menengai Oilers at the RFUEA grounds. Lilako picked up an injury while playing for Kenya against Namibia last August. For the first time in the history of Kenya's rugby premiership tournament, the league winners will receive cash awards from KRU's broadcast partner. But Nandong has more. It was a full house at KCB's final training session before their opening match against the Oilers on Saturday at the Kenya Rugby Union grounds. The bankers had a stellar season when the league concluded last match, lifting their second successive title. Head coach Katis Olago was the chief architect of KCB's storming run that culminated in the Kenya Cup and floodlight titles. For the new season, he's adopting a strategy that is tried and tested. All you have to do is work hard. It's, it, it, working hard is in our hands, winning is not in our hands. God gives victories. KCB finished last season unbeaten and travelled to South Africa for a nine-day training camp, which was a learning curve to the players who rubbed shoulders with top players. Yeah, it has played a big role in, in the uh, training we've had. It has played a big role in showing us the errors we had last season. And uh, we also got to learn a few new things that we are going to implement this coming season. Eight players are currently with the National 15s team that is in France for the repechage tournament for the 2019 World Cup qualifiers. The technical bench has confidence in the squad's depth and has made minimal signings ahead of the new season. Uh, at the moment, we are waiting for Tony. Tony Onyanga is still in, uh, still in France. Yeah, that, that's the only signing, but there are a few small signings we've done. Homeboys will face non-descripts in the early kickoff at the Arifuea grounds. Bernard Ndong for Citizen TV.